so the baby's down for a nap um so i wanted to come on and talk about um my experience with vestibular migraine um because that's something not super common um it is in my community because i've joined facebook groups and you know talked to lots of doctors but um to people just jumping on like your everyday person probably hasn't heard about it um you've probably heard about migraine um and you think head pain but you haven't heard about vestibular migraine um so vestibular migraine is a type of migraine um that causes vertigo dizziness you can have head pain for me i typically don't um i do get headaches every now and then but typically that's removed from any dizziness or vertigo um so i get episodes of vertigo that can last for a few minutes up to a few hours um and so i used to be a teacher and i taught in a classroom and i would get vertigo while teaching um so a lot of times i'd have to be picked up have to leave my classroom i was teaching elementary school so that's really scary for them to see they didn't know what's going on at that time i didn't know what was going on um so it was scary for me as well um and then i started seeking out treatment about a year into these episodes um and my anxiety level was ramping up too because i didn't know when they were going to happen i didn't know what was happening and so then i was also having like daily low level dizziness um so i had seen a doctor and we had tried some medications uh, so neurologist and we had done an, an MRI um, unfortunately the medications he had prescribed didn't work for me at least at that time um, so I went to see another doctor another neurologist um, in Ann Arbor at the University of Michigan to get a second opinion and he had suggested a diet called heal your headache um, it was a book by David Bucholz. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's B-U-C-C-H-O-L-Z. Um, and I remember I left crying um, because he just handed me a book. I felt like he didn't believe me. I'd never heard about this. Um, and it, then I saw an ENT. They ran countless tests. I just didn't believe that this could be a migraine. I saw a cardiologist. They actually diagnosed me with POTS just based on symptoms without running tests. Um, I proceeded to follow like a POTS treatment with like lots of salt and um, like compression leggings and that actually made my symptoms much worse. I ended up being in bed for a couple months. Um, so I went to a rheumatologist thinking I might have an autoimmune disease that was causing dizziness. Um, they I, countless tests ran and nobody could find anything wrong. So finally I started believing this migraine thing and I came across the Dizzy Cook, um, which has been so, um, like changing in my journey. And I did start following the Heal Your Headache Diet because I was seeing that it was helping people. Um, I really followed her story, Alicia, um, and that's the author of that's who the Dizzy Cook is. Her name's Alicia. And um, that really got rid of like my daily dizziness, like that low level, but I was still having vertigo attacks. So I went through a few neurologists and I finally found one and he prescribed me some medications um, that I take. So I take Zoloft and that has gotten rid of any of that like low level dizziness. And then if I do have like a big vertigo attack, I take um, Imitrex which is a migraine med, um, but it just so happens to, like a typical migraine like pain med, but it also works for, it works for my vertigo. Um, and so it's really gotten under control, um, but it's still scary. And being a mom, I have a almost one year old, to have vertigo and then not be able to take care of her is really scary for me. Um, it, it brings on a lot of anxiety for me. Um, my husband does work from home, but um, just that burden and then guilt if I can't take care of her um, is something I, I'm trying to work through because I know everyone gets sick anyway and people have off days. Um, 
but for me, it's just something I carry. So what I have not found is like, why am I having these? So I do have a family history of migraine, so genetics obviously play a role. Um, but um, I, the Heal Your Headache Diet eliminates a lot of foods from your diet. Um, citrus, processed meats, um, malted barley flour, um, so like if you don't have bacon, or I don't have bacon, sausage, lunch meats, because those are processed meats, um, leftovers, avocado, banana. Um, for me, I found I couldn't tolerate tomatoes. I love salsa. I love like spaghetti, um, caffeine, alcohol, just eliminated so many foods. And I followed that for close to three years, um, which was okay, I was feeling better, but I was missing all these foods that I loved, chocolate. Um, so I had read Robin Burson's book, State Change, and um, it talks about feeling better by doing these things, functional doctor, functional medicine. So I started meeting with um, a functional medicine doctor through Parsley, and we have been working on introducing more foods back in because the idea is that your body should be able to tolerate these foods. Um, it's just something is up with the gut that then creates the migraine or, you know, it, it is over responding or under responding to something that you're eating. Um, unless you have a true allergy, then obviously you shouldn't eat that. Um, but so far it's been helping. I've been able to reintroduce a lot of foods. Um, I'll go into it in a, probably my video tomorrow, what exactly um, we are doing and what some of the tests we've done um, have shown, which is why we are doing what we're doing. But I just wanted to check in today and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.